In many experiments we use a retort stand and when many of my students come here I give them a retort stand in bits and they say I can't use that I don't know how to set it up because in school they always look like this so let's have a look at how to set one up properly <laughs> We're going to have a look how to set up a retort stand. Now they actually come as a separate base and a long rod and these rods can be of different lengths and the bases can be of different shapes and we can set them up to be used how we want. So normally in a classroom you would get a retort stand looking like this with a metal rod already attached to the base and what comes with it is this funny device called a boss and to attach things we have a clamp let's have a look and see how to set them up now many people think that this can go either way up but in reality it ought to go one way up what we're going to try and do is make sure that this piece is going to go over the rod and the other side is going to be with this metal piece at the bottom and what that does it gives security so we can now push this in tighten this one up and there we have our clamp set up so that if I want to I can clamp in that mechanical flask for instance and there we have it all set up ready to go so very easy to use the only bit we have to remember is when we put this boss on to make sure that the bottom is the solid bit and then we can easily just push these things in or if you really want to you can loosen this one completely up and we can drop it in from the top although I usually find it's easier just to slide it in from the side once you've got it in then typically you can put it at the height you want and it's easy to slide it along and we can use not just one but two three or four of these on a retort stand or several retort stands to support all our equipment safely there we are the retort stand <laughs>